everyone today I'm doing something different <laughs> I haven't had a haul in a long time so I want to show you what I got and actually explain why I um, purchased actually I think repurchased a few colors that I'm using to create um, like a commissioned piece for my friend and I can show you kind of the color inspiration and a few of the colors that I absolutely love and I'm almost out of them so I needed to repurchase so this is one of them this is these are if you're not familiar these are flash paints this is a French brand and these are the most beautiful matte paints now there are quite a few um, acrylic paints on the market with a matte finish some companies call them acrylic gouache or yeah acrylic gouache uh, or matte acrylics um, and I've tried I think almost all of them I didn't try the Liquitex gouache what is really amazing about the flash paints is actually how well pencils and other media go on top of them and I haven't found another brand of matte acrylic paint that behaves uh, as well and so I'm really really loving these uh, and have been for the last months since fall when I discovered them. I also want to say thank you to Sandy Hester here on YouTube. Uh, she was the person that kind of introduced me to these paints in her videos and I absolutely love them. So this color is pink gray and I think you can see here in my palette this is how it looks when it's pure. It is it's it's really kind of I love these colors because I feel like if you start mixing this kind of color with like your more uh, saturated pure colors, you get a lot more interesting uh, shades than you would if you were mixing um, like these colors with white and then maybe adding something else. So more interesting than white and less complicated than having to add a third color. Uh, so I've just been really really loving it and also in its pure form it's just beautiful so it's like a elevated light neutral so I got two of them because I've been going through quite a, a bit of those and then this color I'll show you if you're not familiar with flash paints they also come in jars the jars are really fun but um, and I do appreciate the um, kind of the environmental aspect of you know using less plastic but at the end of the day there are the tubes are just so much more comfortable for me personally for how I use paint uh, to use and so I think I'm gonna go with the um, tubes but for this color they didn't actually have it in um, in the tube this is gray green and again this is exactly what I was talking about this kind of um, kind of elevated light neutral so this is how it looks pure from straight from the tube and you can see um, it's a very 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 light muted mint but it is gorgeous it's really if you want to kind of explore um, creating like atmospheric color stories and you're not really sure how to do that maybe try kind of tweaking let's say instead of white using something like this uh, I think you will find that it it really kind of helps uh, to create uh, an interesting color story and then I got a few other colors wow I didn't remember that I ordered so many so I should probably swatch them so those um, the ones that I showed you were a repurchase. Wow, I really did not remember that I got so many. I think the other ones are all new colors. Okay, um, I needed, because of this particular uh, piece that I'm working on, I needed to try a few different browns. I have, I'll show you. I have this color this is sepia brown 
and I really like it. That's kind of my kind of brown. You can see it here. It's a very, very cool, um, kind of like, almost like a chocolatey type of brown. But uh, for my friend, she wanted like these pops of kind of a warmer brown and I didn't have them. And I just really enjoyed the finish of this paint. And again, the fact that I can go over it with pencil and uh, pastels and it just, it's, it's really a joy to do that. So I wanted to explore a few more of their neutrals. So this one is raw sienna. This one is red ochre. And then this one is burnt sienna. So I'll try to kind of swatch them for you and maybe do some uh, swatching so you can get an idea of how these look also when you mix them. Uh, but yeah, in case you're interested in uh, getting these colors, I hope this will be kind of helpful for you to see where they stand compared to each other. So obviously this looks like a really classic uh, raw sienna. And then this one is more kind of orangey, earthy. And then this one is, yeah, classic burnt sienna. Also looks looks like it fits the name and then i wanted to try these two greens they look very very similar um really really similar only this one looks lighter so hopefully you know one of the reasons i love doing these videos is to help you choose colors and see what is redundant um this one is called light green earth and this one is called verdaccio verdaccio not sure how to pronounce that and they are actually the same pigments. Yeah, exactly the same pigments, only this one has white in it. Now, I also want to mention that after trying a selection of these paints, I really came to the conclusion that for me personally, I prefer their uh, completely opaque colors. So all of these that I showed you are opaque. Um, and I really, love that finish in this particular paint okay and oh, actually two more that i'm excited about again these are these are more my colors these will not go on that uh painting for my friend um that one that this is kind of the color palette that we're exploring i do enjoy it but you know it's less me um so i have actually i think quite a few of the pinks in this range but i didn't have this one and now i'm really really happy that i got it uh, again, these are both opaque. So this one is called Parma Pink, and this one is Pastel Violet, and they are really cute and pretty, and I'm super happy and excited to paint with them. Um, and that's it. So this is what I got. Very, very kind of focused <laughs> haul, just because I needed to replenish on these and then uh, add some more uh, options so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, let me know if you've tried these paints i know there are some of you that that tried them after i showed them in a different video and absolutely love them that makes me really really happy um so yeah i'll see you soon in another video uh hopefully a swatching video i think that would be a good idea take care bye bye